One day, I asked the rain how it could possibly know so much about me. That knew how to put context to my deepest feelings, my sadness and insecurities. It whispered to me that its role was to remind me that, like small raindrops against the glass, sometimes we collide and fall. And that even in those moments when we seem to disappear in the crowd, our uniqueness is magical. So I started to write everything that was squeezing and oppressing me inside. I let the ideas run through the white pages while the rain sang to me an ancestral story that spoke of mythical maidens, nymphs and forgotten water women. Water, primal symbol of the origin of life, memorable liquid as wonderful as it is terrible. It also talked to me about the trees, about how through the aroma of the colors they communicate with the sky, while the synapses of the sun and neurons travel through the subsoil. It also told me how this dance of connectivity occurred in everything we see, touch, feel, experience, and in the smallest things which in our busy comings and goings we ignore. And in that reflective state in which my thoughts flowed across the paper, I wondered at what moment we lost ourselves. When the stories that explained all that connectivity were swallowed up by our mistreated self. When we forgot to listen to the synchronicities of our daily lives. When we secluded the darkness and sent it to the realm of the terrible, thus cursing all that dwelt within it, mutilating a part of who we are and its relaxing symmetry it sent me to sleep and I'd let myself be eluded by the messages of my unconscious mind where the images of everything that made me who I am told me that balance is found both in what is above and what is below. That we travel governed by different archetypes throughout our lives, that we are accompanied by everything that we fear due to ignorance. That in the union of light and shadows we are the answers we seek, and that within us is the light that guides our own path, and although sometimes we need the wisdom of others to be able to reactivate the flame, we just have to stop and listen. When I woke up, I realized that the answers were within me, that the messages from my dreams were all I needed to keep walking, and that although there are already millions of stories written, there are another million more to write. Self recognition begins when we stop to listen, to search, to analyze, to undertake, to express ourselves. That's why I'm asking you are you going to stop missing everything in you? Embark on your unique journey towards self recognition and self help through the Gothic Union lens. In a course aimed at entrepreneurs and creators with a passion for the Gothic who find themselves at a professional and personal crossroads. Alice in Gothic Land, courses for self-help and personal and professional support for entrepreneurs, creators and curious minds.